guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we are gonna be talking about, well, I wouldn't be excited if I lost my entire makeup collection. In fact, I don't know how long it would take me to get over the pain of that experience, <laughs> but we're gonna be talking all about where I would start, what I would buy if I lost, my entire makeup collection. So I have everything to create a full face of makeup plus a little bit more. Um, and this is just where I would start. Like truly with my knowledge of my current makeup collection, um, this is where I would start. There's certain areas where I would try and cut costs and then there's other areas such as lip gloss that I could not just pick one that I would purchase like we we would be so devastated about the loss of my makeup collection i would need to treat myself with a few lip glosses okay um but if you guys are interested in seeing how i would rebuild my makeup collection if i lost everything stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project panning content or just chit chatting about makeup i'd love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on other than that let's jump into the video guys i think i will go in order that i would place these products on my face and like i said there are some categories where i like really was like like foundation i like wanted to choose a dior foundation because that's like my favorite foundation but i was like there's a good one at the drugstore that like i mean we'd be spending a lot of money to rebuild the collection so like cut costs where you can so let's start with the primer category i have quite a few primers that i really like and enjoy um, and I would say like biggest thing for me with primers actually gripping is most important and this is not a gripping primer But this does enough other things that I would I just enjoy having something to prime my face whatever it might be So I went with the Milani chill out primer. This is a soothing primer. It has wild oat extracts and ceramides I also feel like if I just lost my entire makeup collection no matter how that was whether you know I was robbed my you know house burned down whatever it might be I would be very stressed out so the fact that this is a soothing primer would probably be very ben beneficial to me this does truly feel very calming on the skin it has the slightest cooling sensation as you put it on and it actually is a smoothing primer alongside being a soothing primer but it is silicone free so it doesn't feel distracting on the skin and i think it's a beautiful product i believe it's under ten dollars as well so this would be my only primer that i would need to start the rebuild and then I, I did choose two foundations. So like I said, I wanted to choose Dior, but I was like, ugh, let's cut, co let's cut, let's cut costs where we can. Um, and this year I have really fallen in love with the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I think this is absolutely beautiful and it gives me that light to medium coverage that I'm looking for that still offers a very skin-like glow to the skin still looks like healthy skin. I also feel like this is something that I can build if I have like something i'm going to go do and i want something a little bit more full coverage or set with the powder like this is going to last me all day i really enjoyed this foundation so that would be the foundation i choose and then i would want like a tinted moisturizer type of product um that would be something that would be important to me to have as i'm rebuilding my collection so i chose the iconic london super smoother blurring skin tint this is really beautiful because it does do an amazing job at blurring the skin while still making it look like your skin it really does have a healthy skin like finish to the skin <laughs> um and it is one that i have also fallen a fallen in love with this year so i would purchase this plus i feel like i want to say this is like 32 dollars, so it's not like 40 or 50 so you know and there's not really a skin tint i can think of that's drugstore that i enjoy for concealer this is a new favorite to me i thought i would choose the kosas revealer concealer but i would actually go with the tower 28 serum concealer one being because i actually really enjoy this formula i think it is absolutely beautiful underneath the eyes it really is thin like a serum it offers this beautiful like glow without being like dewy under your eyes i love the finish that this provides plus with the kosas revealer concealer like the packaging has been faulty for me in the past and it's broken this definitely feels sturdier it feels nicer it's actually less expensive than the kosas and overall i think that this is a product that i will continue to repurchase at least as of right now over the kosas so essentially this is dethroning my kosas revealer concealer 
For powder, I would want an under eye setting powder as well as an all over face setting powder. So for my under eye setting powder, I would purchase the mini size so we can cut costs of the Givenchy Prism Libre powder. Specifically, I have the shade three Viola Rose. Sorry, my fan just came on, but it's freezing outside. You guys, I am preparing for my end of year like 100 looks with 100 different palettes and I like to take the like boomerang out on my patio and it's like Gonna snow later today and I was out on my patio. Why is this hair so ridiculous? Oh my gosh I don't want to redo my ponytail. I was out on my patio today taking that boomerang in my tank top <laughs> The things I do for YouTube Anyway, this is so blurring underneath the eyes. It is a phenomenal product. I really, really enjoy this. Um, so I would purchase that. And then for my all over face setting powder, I would purchase the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Pressed Powder. Um, this is so beautiful because it sets the skin, but still looks like skin. It's not so ultra mattifying. In fact, I don't consider this a mattifying product at all. I feel like this still offers that skin like glow I keep repeating myself on that I really love just so much. Plus it's a drugstore product. So that is what I would purchase there. For a face setting spray, um, right now I have Max Fix Plus sitting in front of me to remind myself to talk about setting spray, but I actually would likely just purchase like the Revolution Beauty Fix Mist setting spray. I really like a setting spray just because I'm someone who likes to like, re like I just like to mist my face, honestly. But if I'm rebuilding my collection, I would wait until wait to buy this until I can get it half off during Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So in the interim, I would just purchase like a $10 drugstore face mist. And the best I found is the Revolution Beauty one. Moving on to bronzer. So this might come as a shock, but I fell in love with this bronzing duo this year. And if I lost my entire makeup collection, I would want a warm tone bronzer as well as like a more neutral bronzer, just cause depending on if I'm self tanning, um, I like a warmer bronzer, but naturally I have cooler skin tones. So something more neutral works better for me when I'm not self tan. So I would actually purchase, and this would be not cutting costs cause this is a very expensive product, but technically you're getting two in one. So this is the Victoria Beckham bronzing block. I have mine in the shade three and for the warm side, it is in the shade sand and for the contour side, it's the shade, sorry, warm sand contour sole. I actually feel like the contour is not like so gray that I like can only contour with it. I actually rather enjoy using this as a bronzer, especially with them when I'm not self tan. And I like mixing the two of these together. Now, if I were to repurchase this, I may actually purchase one shade down because I do feel like overall this product in general just works better for me when I'm self tan because I did purchase a deeper shade, but I love the Victoria Beckham bronzing block. I know it's expensive, but I think it's worth it. And this would be a great place for me to start if I lost all of my makeup collection. Okay, for blush, number one, I would, I would need a nude blush in my collection. I thought about including both the MAC Glow Play blush in the shade So Natural, as well as the Laura Mercier blush in Fresca, I believe it is. Um, but I was like, no girl, like if you're just starting fresh, you got to choose one. So I went with Mac so natural. Cause I feel like this offer is just a little bit more of a natural glow than the Laura Mercier. This is just such a beautiful shade. I have absolutely fallen in love with it. It's very neutral, very nude. I feel like I could get away with this if I was just doing like, if I was doing no makeup, just laid down a primer and wanted to add a little color to the cheeks, this would be perfect for that. So I selected this, but then I would also purchase whatever NARS face palette was available at the time. <laughs> I would be absolutely devastated if I lost my NARS face palette collection. This is the newest one to have launched. This is the All That Glitters face palette, but this would offer me a variety of blush shades so that you know my options would be truly endless not endless but you get what i'm saying so i would definitely splurge on getting a nars face palette for my highlight i'm going bobby brown pink glow i would get the mini i want to say the mini is 25 dollars. i love a pink highlight this actually has like a pink and an icy and you can kind of mix them together if i could only have a pink highlight in my collection i wouldn't be like so devastated about it um so i would go with bobby brown, bobby brown pink glow i will say i'm testing out the rare beauty mesmerized blush and that is also so so beautiful but i just like owned bobby brown and i'm more comfortable with it so like i've owned it for longer 
So that's why I'm going with Bobbi Brown Pink Glow. Okay, for mascara, um, Ilia Limitless. I'm still testing the Tower 28, so maybe Tower 28, but Ilia Limitless is just such a tried and true. It gives me length, separation, and volume. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So if I truly lost all of my mascaras, this would be the perfect place to start because it's offering me all three things that I would be looking for from a mascara for brows. I do have three brow products. I'm a little bit extra when it comes to brows, um, but these are like my tried and true faves. So I would go with the NYX Micro Brow to draw on, like to outline my brows. Love this product for that. Then I would go with the NYX Brow Glue to kind of shellac my brows into place. <laughs> And then I would also get the Undone Brow Duo. This is a marker and a tinted brow gel. I love this product for the tinted brow gel. I feel like it does such an amazing job of just filling my brows in. I already have brows, so I don't look for a lot, but I just absolutely love this product, so I definitely want to pick that up as well. Okay, I'm gonna go with eyes last. We'll save eyes for last, but for lips. I picked one lipstick. I would get this one from Milani. It is in the shade Tease. This is like my favorite shade of lipstick. Just a nice, like cool toned nude brown. Love it so much. Um, plus it's drugstore, so it wouldn't be super expensive, but this would be like my everyday go-to lip color. I also decided um, on <clears throat> the Powder Kiss Lip Liquid Lip Color from MAC in the shade Over the Taupe. This is what's on my lips today. I love this product for honestly it matches way more than i expected it would i've been reaching for this so much frequently and i feel like i would want one like liquid lip style of product in my collection and this would be the perfect shade i will say this doesn't like totally set down i personally prefer that though because i think it's a lot more comfortable on the lips and then i mentioned to you guys lips lip gloss i feel like I would be so sad that I would just need at least one of my favorite lip gloss products. Like I have my like top five lip products and these are them. So we knew I was going to say Lawless Forget the Filler. Like I would instantly go out the day I lost my makeup collection to purchase Lawless Forget the Filler. I would also, I, I grabbed the shade Annie. It's this really beautiful like shiny nude. This is likely the color I would get, but there's so many options to choose from. I would just get one of them. Then I would probably pick up the Tower 28 Chill Lip Gloss. This is just a clear lip gloss. I love the Tower 28 Lip Jellies. I think they're super comfortable on the lips. Great formula overall. I would also go pick up the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Riri. I have been loving this for like a mid-toned mauve shade. I love the Fenty Gloss Bombs. I've gone through so many of them in my lifetime. Um, and I've been reaching for this a ton lately as well. So I would pick that up. I would also grab the Kaja juicy glass lip oils i just absolutely have fallen in love with this formula it gives this really beautiful juicy gloss effect to the lips it kind of reminds me of like kind of a mixture of lawless forget the filler and tower 28 it's a little bit thicker than tower 28 but not in a bad way and it gives like just more of a glossy juicy finish to the lips than the tower 28 so i would also i would i, I would need it and then I would also want the Clarence lip oil, but recently I have found something that I think is very, very similar and it's less expensive. So rather than immediately going out to purchase the Clarence lip oil, I would go get from Milani their lip oil. Right now I have mine in the shade Cranberry, which is this beautiful cranberry shade, cranberry red shade for the holidays. This is so good, you guys. The doe foot is pretty much identical to the Clarence lip oil. And this lip oil feels so comfortable on the lips. A little bit thinner than the Clarins lip oil, but still really, really good in my opinion. So I would definitely go pick that up. And then to finish it up, we have eyes. So for eye primer, I am someone who likes to have an eye primer. I would actually go with the Alter Ego Eyeshadow Base. This is really good um, and it's less expensive. It's like not super expensive. I haven't tried an eyeshadow base from the drugstore that I like. So this would be the least expensive eye primer. It's definitely thinner, which I prefer, and it just offers a really good tap to the skin. It has like almost no base to it, so it's not gonna add like a ton of pigmentation to the eye, which I actually prefer. So I would get the Alter Ego eyeshadow primer, eyeshadow base. Um, plus I have a code with Alter Ego that I could use, so I could save myself even more money. I've given up on trying to tuck this in, can you tell? And then for eyeshadow palettes, I've narrowed it down to two. 
It was extremely, extremely hard. But the two that I would go with, I would get Tartlet in Bloom because for every day this is so perfect and I feel like it has enough versatility that I would feel like I don't have to do the exact same look every single day. Plus it offers me a bunch of perfect like neutral bases. I have more cool tone, more neutral and more like rosy toned matte shadows so I could create a base for anything that I would want to do with the Adept Cosmetics Ninhydrin palette. This I am selecting because it's a palette that just has 10 fun multi-chrome, duochrome, whatever sort of shades. And I feel like with the two mattes in this palette, as well as the mattes in the Tartlet in Bloom, I would have enough variety and versatility to really still have so much fun with my makeup. I'm also thinking of the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 5 palette. That one is... Um, I think more than twice the cost of this though um, and this just it offers a ton of different colors it offers different finishes multi-chromes duochromes um, really metallic really foiled shades I feel like between the two of these it could get me by for a little bit before I you know expanded and grew my palette collection but those are all of the products that I would start with if I lost my entire makeup collection and had to tragically start all over. I would love to know in the comments below, what products would you start your makeup collection over with? Let a girl know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting me and my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.